are the trends in the school choice movement in New Jersey? Well, in charter schools, uh, I'm concerned about it because the Christie administration just also authorized three new charter schools for New Jersey for next year out of 38 applications. I'm concerned that uh, one, a state as populous as New Jersey is, has so few charter schools compared to other areas in the country, and it seems like there's a, uh, a resistance to the growth of this. It's pretty firm in, uh, in New Jersey. I'd like you to talk to us a little bit about the public school system in Perth Amboy. Um, what is the amount of money spent per student in this area? It is uh, about $22,500 $22, per student, right? So that's an insane amount of money for the results that we're getting currently. Our graduation rate is somewhere around 57%, which uh, rivals Camden, New Jersey. We do have a charter school in Perth Amway. Um, the graduation rate is higher, they're testing at higher levels, and they're doing it at half the price. And no one ever gets into the nuts and bolts on the hardwired, deep, Inequity. It's always important that for people to understand that like not every charter school is great, just like not every district, uh, di traditional district school is great. Um, but the good thing about charter schools that are not great is that we can close them. So there's 87 open charter schools right now in New Jersey. There have been nearly 20 schools that have been closed in the last 20 years for charter schools, uh, which is a very, very high percent compared to other states. Are the rumors true? Will there be a check offered at some point? Yes. I will. Yeah, I've committed to starting the Startup Education Foundation, um, whose first project will be a hundred million dollar challenge grant. One um, hundred million dollars. In 2010, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg actually gave a hundred million dollars to Newark to help the schooling system. But 31 million of that uh, was actually used to retroactively give unionized teachers a pay rise. Do you think that this is a reflection of some of the, the problems within the, the schooling system at the moment? Certainly, it's, it's a complex issue because there are those who would say there are education reform advocates and school choice advocates who will say that one transitional tool we can use to somehow get to a better era where there real, is real teacher evaluation and real school choice is to just buy off the unions, just write them a check, pay them off is the one way that they'll make some concessions when it comes to negotiations with regards to some of the stuff that we want. And so it has been argued that that was part of the form that Newark also now has actually a, a more uh, robust teacher evaluation uh, plan than the rest of New Jersey. And why Newark though? Because, you know, what's your relationship with Newark? Well, Newark is really just because I believe in these guys, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> One of the things I think you can really argue in Newark fairly strenuously is that at $24,000 a kid and $13,000 a kid for pre-K and a billion dollar budget altogether, that we have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as much as I was supportive of the gift, it did kind of uh, miss the important part of that discussion, which is that like you could have all the money in the world if you don't have the right leaders in the schools, if the families don't have the right choices, if you're not deliberately hiring the best teachers, if you're not supporting them, if you're not getting rid of the bad ones, if you don't have a great leader, you got a hundred million dollars with the same shit show. Really being probably the only uh, school choice member on the board, you know, I, I do take a lot of flack for that. Uh, a lot of these uh, teachers, there are a few of them that I went to school with, you know, and they kind of see me as like stabbing them in the back and you know I just try to stay on message which is you know this is about the students and the parents being able to have a choice. You have to switch your philosophy in my opinion and and more and more people are around the country but the idea is really the money is not for a building or a group of adults or a bureaucracy or administration it's for the children's education. That is what people are used to. Schools are about convenience and comfort. What we are doing is not about convenience and comfort it's about necessity and freedom and uh, survival um, and we have to figure out ways to communicate that better and I would argue all of this stuff like as as bad as it looks it has to happen <laughs> we have to fake we can't get better at the conversation we can't get better at doing any of it if we don't try it